I have something I want to share with you today, and this is a heat exchanger pot from Fire Maple. This is their one liter version. If you're interested in hearing more about it, keep watching. All right, before we begin, I just want to thank Fire Maple for sending this out to me so that I could share it with you. So when Fire Maple offered to send me a few items, this is one of the items I chose that I thought I'd be interested in. And the reason I chose this pot is because of its size at one liter. Recently, I reviewed another item from Fire Maple, their Polaris cook system, which is the integrated pot and stove that sits on top of a canister. Everything goes together, highly effective, high quality, the cook system, but just bigger than most people are looking for and bigger than I wanted because it was a 1.5 liter pot, which actually held more than 1.5 liters. So when I looked on the website and I saw this, it was smaller, lighter, and you know what? I thought this would be something I'd be interested in. And I'm glad that they agreed to send it to me because I'm really enjoying this. So let me just tell you a little bit about it. And uh, then I can think I can throw in a few scenes of it in use. So again, this is from Fire Maple. It is known as the FMC XK6 aluminum cookware. I just call it one liter pot with heat exchanger on the bottom. And it comes with hard anodized aluminum, silicon uh, tubing over butterfly handles on the sides, a BPA food grade plastic top, which I have a comment to make on in a second. And inside, not sure how well it'll show up on camera, but there are graduation marks. Maybe it'll show up better on the outside, showing you where you are in terms of how full it is. And it's just got everything you want in a small pot. It even has a vent hole on top right there. And I just used it. I'll tell you a little bit about my use of it in a moment, but I just used it to hard boil a couple of eggs. And normally I like to have a pot that has multiple drain holes in it so I can drain the water out a little faster. That worked just fine. A little slow, but just fine. And I mentioned that, I think, in the other video that I would have preferred to see more drain holes in the cover that came on the cook set. And somebody commented that, uh, why don't you just drill some? Absolutely. I could and will probably do that to this, just add a few more drain holes to it. I, the only reason I mention that is because it'd be nice if you didn't have to, if Fire Maple did that for us. Now, there's one small modification I've made to this before I show you anything else because it's probably showing up on camera. You can see a little tiny loop of paracord. It's gutted black paracord sticking through the top of it. And on the bottom side, you can see the knot that's keeping it from pulling through. So why did I do that? Well, this has a fitted top so it fits on quite snug you can see it fits on quite snug on top of the pot so when you go to use this you have to make sure that you don't have it on snug like that you just want it sitting on top so it's just sitting loose on top otherwise you're gonna have a hard time getting it off with boiling water inside even so what I found just look at the central knob or the central raised portion there that's what you're expected to grab onto with your fingers to lift it off. Now, I can do it now, but I barely have any purchase on that at all. And I can tell you from experience, this gets hot. Obviously, it gets hot from the, from the heat rising from the water inside. So I thought I could just improve it a tiny bit by putting this little loop of paracord on, and it works perfectly. I could even stick a stick through the loop if I wanted to reach in and do that just to lift it off. All right, folks, I apologize if there was been a break in the film or the recording because uh, I just had a message come up on my on the camera to show me that my battery had died. So I'm making a guess at where the battery died and trying to backtrack to that. So I've replaced the battery, so let's get started. So I'll start out with just a, a description of the pot itself. So the pot itself is made from aluminum. It is hard anodized aluminum, so it is light like titanium, yet strong like stainless steel and cheaper than both of them, to be quite honest. So let's do some weights and some sizes. So the weight for this pot is 6.7 ounces or 190 grams. The size is 4.5 inches in diameter, which is 115 millimeters. It is 5.2 inches tall, which is 133 millimeters. And as I mentioned, it will hold 33.8 ounces of water or fluid of any type or one liter, right up to that mark right there. So again, I got this because of 
that heat exchanger, but does it make a difference? And that's what I wanted to find out with this pot. Okay, so I did some testing. So one of the tests I did was with my Polaris remote cast canister store, also from Fire Maple. And I just did a very quick test on this just to see what kind of a difference it would make. And here's what I got. The pot I compared it with is the Lixata Titanium 1100 milliliter pot. Very close in size and weight and volume to this pot, but it does not have the heat exchanger. So I just used 250 milliliters of water, one cup of water, and what I got is in the Lexata, it came to a boil in one minute, 18 seconds. Consumed eight grams of fuel. I was actually a little bit surprised by that, but that's more of a comment on the stove than it is on the pot. Then I put the fire maple pot on with the same amount of water, 250 milliliters on top of the same stove. And I got a boil time of, actually it was so fast, it may have been faster than this, 55 seconds. So less than a minute of, to bring the same amount of water to a boil. And it only consumed six grams of fuel. Okay, so I think that's pretty impressive all by itself, using it with a gas canister stove. So it's good to know that the heat exchanger is capturing the heat produced by the stove. But that's not the only test I did with it. I also used it with an alcohol stove. Now here's the combination setup that I had. I took out my Titanium Firebox Nano. I used the Trangia inside of it, and I did the same tests again using the same pot. So the Lexata 1100 milliliter pot and this pot on top, and here's what I got. Again, 250 milliliters of water using the Trangia. It came to a boil in four minutes and 46 seconds with using the Lixata uh, titanium pot. Uh, reasonably fast, yeah, but uh, 250 milliliters of water, that's not two cups, that's only one cup, so I wouldn't call that extremely fast. So I did the same test again using this pot, and the water came to a boil in three minutes, 36 seconds. So more than a full minute faster with the heat exchanger. Um, that convinced me that this pot will um, bring your water to a boil faster, and that means if you're using fuel like alcohol or gas, that you can save on those fuels and uh, won't have to consume as much. Again, if you're using it with a wood fire, then it's not all that important. Can you use this pot with a wood fire? I believe we can. I intended to. I was going to do that today, but it's fire ban day again, so I couldn't do that test out here in the woods. But what I would recommend is that if you're going to use this pot over a wood stove, that a couple of things, you want to make sure that the flames don't hit the handles and scorch at the silicone handles, if you can help it. I mean, it's not going to ruin the pot if you do. It's just going to mar the handles up. So the, again, the stove that I plan on using this with, because it just seems like an ideal match, is the Titanium Nano from Firebox. But there are other small wood stoves that I would work that are used to choose to pair with this, but that just seems like a really reasonably good um, matchup. Okay, so I think I've spoken long enough about this pot. What I will do is I'll provide links to where you can purchase this in the video description below. And uh, yeah, and all the information uh, that I shared with you otherwise. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please put those in the comment section underneath this video. But until next time, get out and explore, take that path, less travel, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.